Two properties of an ideal operational amplifier op amp are infinite input impedance and infinite bandwidth. State what is meant by infinite input impedance. Infinite input impedance just means that there is no current that can enter inside an input or leave that input. There is no concept of current flowing through the input, right? So that's what we mean by in finite input impedance. No current flows through the input. What about infinite bandwidth? Infinite bandwidth is just a name given when the gain, the quantity called gain is identical for all the frequencies of the world. So infinite bandwidth then just means that the gain is identical for all frequencies. Next, we have this thing. A student uses a negative temperature coefficient thermistor so it's a negative temperature coefficient thermistor in the circuit to indicate changes in temperature. Here we have a circuit, we have a battery and uh, we have resistors and operational amplifier. This is the thermistor. And again, we have another resistor and a voltage uh, V, voltmeter V. Right, so we want to first show that the potential at point X is given as 0 0.40 volts. Now the potential at point X is the input potential which is V I N. So because this is earthed, V in is coming like this. And so this would be V in for 400 ohms and here we have 1100 ohms. So V in should be the potential at the battery, which is 1.5 times 400 ohms resistor and then divided by the sum of these two resistors at point X, uh, which are in series. So that's 1100 plus 400 ohms. And this gives me 0 0.40 volts. Now the thermistor has a resistance of 360 kilo, kilo ohms at a particular temperature. For this temperature of the thermistor, calculate the magnitude of the reading on the voltmeter. So what would be the reading on the voltmeter? Well, we know over here, this is what they're saying as 360 uh, ohms, right? And it is connected in series with this one, right? So these two will be added. That's uh, one thing. Now we know that uh, if you come back to this page, we know that the gain, I'll use A for it, is equal to minus RF by R in. And that is just V out over V in. Now V out is what? It is what we want to find. It is what they're asking that what would be that reading on the voltmeter. What about V in? V in is what we just found at X and that was 0 0.40 volts. And this is equal to RF by RI. RF is the sum of those two resistors, 360 plus 100. And RI is, if you come back over here, it is this one, which is going in to this part. So that's 96 uh, like this, right? And this would give me V out to be 1.9 volts. We don't have to write those kilo into 10 raised to power three because it would come out from uh, both of these. So 10 raised to power three uh, for kilo ohms, right? And so they, they would just cancel and it, it remains the same. So this would be 1.9 volts. Next, we have that the temperature of the thermistor increases. State and explain the effect of this change on the magnitude of the reading to the voltmeter. If the th temperature of the thermistor increases, we know from uh, our understanding of resistors and their dependence on temperature, if the temperature is going to uh, increase, then the resistance of the thermistor will decrease, right? And if this resistance of the thermistor decreases, then this would imply that the gain or the voltage V will decrease. And hence, that would mean that the reading on the voltmeter decreases. Next, explain why the amplifier circuit will no longer indicate temperature changes when the magnitude of the gain in the circuit is greater than 12.5. Now, when it is at uh, gain, when it is at 
12.5, right? V out, if you go back here, V out over here would be five volts, right? Now, if I go higher than 12.5 volts, then because this is, uh, this is uh, V out, which is five volts, the output from here would become saturated, which would mean that it would no longer indicate any temperature change because the output is already saturated. It has reached its maximum thing and it will not change anymore. So V out, will, which is 5.0 volts, if I increase the gain, output becomes saturated 